In this video, we understand the relationship between hardware and software, and you should be able to define the terms, and we explain what is meant by system software and application software. So at a simple level, absolutely everything involved in any computer, whether it be a smart watch, a phone, a tablet or a desktop computer, consists of hardware, these are the physical parts of the computer and related devices, and software. So that's the computer programs and all the forms, anything which is non-physical. When thinking about the physical hardware, you can consider all hardware devices to be split into two broad categories. We have internal hardware, so that's the sort of stuff that's inside of the device, like motherboards, hard drives, RAMs, graphics cards, etc. And then any devices and hardware which is external to the main computer, for example, monitors, keyboard, mouse, printers, webcams, etc. When thinking of software, again, there are two very broad categories. Now, at a really simple level, you can think of system software as being the stuff which makes your computer work and keeps it safe, whereas application software is everything else. Within system software, there are a few subcategories, and these are going to be looked at in the subsequent videos. The main piece of system software is often considered the operating system, for example, Windows, Mac iOS, Linux. But there's also utility programs, things like virus checkers and firewalls, compression software. There are libraries, and there's also a group of system software known as translators, which are compilers, assemblers, and interpreters. As mentioned, we're going to go through these in subsequent videos. If it's not in this list, then it must be application software. And this essentially is the fun stuff. It's all very well having a computer that has a great operating system, loads of utilities to keep it safe and keep it running, all the libraries and translators it will need, if you don't actually have any applications to use on the computer. So this is the stuff that allows you to do things. Everything from games to browsers, media players, word processors, emails, photo editors, integrated development environments like Visual Basic that you might use to write other programs, apps on mobile phones, and much, much more.